Good morning, everybody. I'm Liza Fromer. You're watching The Morning Show here on Global. Good to have you along with us. Well, this is a pretty impressive cover to be on. It is Toronto Life Power, a ranking of the 50 most influential people in the city and four of those people join us today. Cameron Bailey is here. He is the artistic director of the Toronto International Film Festival, a festival that gives the city an economic boost of nearly two hundred million dollars a year. Mary Jo Haddad is here. She's a nurse by trade, but she is now the president and CEO of Canada's largest children's hospital. Sick Kids sees over 300,000 patients a year. Mary Jo is also a mom to three. Clayton Ruby joins us. I'm sure that name is familiar. One of Canada's most famous defense attorneys. In 2006, he was made a member of the Order of Canada. And finally, Rahul Bardwaj. He is first a corporate lawyer. He now oversees the Toronto Community Foundation's $250 million fund, money that goes to making our city a better place to live. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Such esteemed company. Thank you all for being here this morning. Cameron, let's start with you and get right to it. It's interesting, when I look at this, you know, and think about what it means to have power in this city, the first thing that crosses my mind is how do you use it? Hmm. What do you do within this city? Um, is it to make it better? What, how do you wield it? For you, what does it mean? You know, I think for most of us, when we're doing our jobs every day, we're not thinking about the power that we wield. We're not superheroes here. But I think what we're trying to do is just make a change in the city. The Toronto Film Festival is, is uh, 38 years old now, and it's really grown from a small event to something that is, is world uh, renowned and what we try to do is really just introduce the art of cinema to a wide audience and to make it very popular we're trying to get the city excited about movies and we do that every year every September was there an idea behind that as well that it brings Toronto to the world stage because now really the film festival almost more than anything has put us on the map internationally as uh, an arts community yeah I think what it's done is it's it's really grown a, a big community of people in Toronto who love movies who are very informed about movies they they're enthusiastic about movies and people love bringing their films here as a result. Mary Jo, let's talk to you next. Mary Jo Haddad, president and CEO of the Hospital for Sick Children. Now, you started there as a nurse. I did. So how did you end up in this? And nursing is, is such a phenomenal job to have. Well, I think mercifully have spent very little time in the hospital, but when I have, yeah. it's the nurses that make you feel better when you're there. Um, how did you go from that position to the position you hold now? So I started in nursing some 30, almost 39 years ago. So I've had a long trajectory in health and health leadership. And, you know, nursing teaches you a lot about teamwork, about leadership, about change advocating for a patient at the bedside and as uh, you know CEO I'm leading a phenomenal organization it's one of the most respected hospitals in the world and um, I've got wonderfully brilliant people I work with and I'm enabling children's health and um, is that what you wanted to do again when we get back to this idea of influence did you feel mm -hmm. like um the children at six, sick kids needed more of an advocate or did we need to bring in more people that were were specializing in their field into that particular hospital what needed to happen many things need to happen in a in a, a hospital like sick kids you're really uh, trying to bring to the forefront the best um, practitioners scientists doctors clinicians to uh, enable kids and the health of children but also to ensure that kids are healthy that they don't need a hospital they don't need the specialized services of a of an organ organization like sick kids that's as much a part of um, being a leader in the city as it is uh, providing this much needed services in an acute care hospital Clayton Ruby hi hi welcome <laughs> uh, your name has been uh, quite famous in this country for decades what do you think makes you an influencer now um, partly it's if you, you get involved in governing bodies where you actually make decisions that's kind of nice but more important than that, I think, is that you try and take on cases that will bring about change in the country and the profession and the way people live. You get up in the morning and say, okay, am I just doing a humdrum job or am I doing something that makes this world a better place? And you should, you should strive for that. Is that something that you would all agree is on your mind to some degree? 
Yeah, I think, you know, it, it's never one individual, but we're all lucky enough to work with big institutions and big teams, and so those actually allow you to, to, to affect change, because it's never just the person that does it, it's the team you work with that actually helps you move things forward in the city. Rahul Bardwaj, uh, you are the CEO of Toronto Community Foundation. Can you explain a little bit what that is and what you would like that to do for the city sure. of Toronto? So the Toronto Community Foundation, we're the foundation that loves the city. And uh, we're all about making the city as great as it can be. And a lot, like uh, Cameron mentioned, it's through collaboration. So every year we put together a report. It's called Toronto's Vital Signs. So it's a snapshot on what's going on in the city. The good, the not so good, where we can improve. And then we spend the rest of the year collaborating with other partners, primarily to connect philanthropy with the issues in the city to help it make it that much better. Mm -hmm. What would you say, and I'll just go right back down the row again, has been your proudest achievement at this point in your career? Um, you know, uh, we bring a lot of movie stars to town, so to bring somebody like Oprah Winfrey, that's a big deal. She doesn't usually come to film festivals, that was about three years ago. Terrific night in Roy Thompson Hall. Um, but I think actually opening our building, Tiff Bell Lightbox, uh, two years ago, that was a big achievement, not just for me, but for the entire team. Um, and to now have a home in Toronto that people can come to all year round, I think that's a really big deal for Tiff. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, man, there's so many things. I would uh, reflect on bringing research into the way we do everything that we do in sick kids, mm -hmm. but also as part of the Toronto Discovery District. We are fortunate to be part of something much, much bigger than we are as, uh, as an organization, and enabling that through connecting people, through challenging the status quo, through ensuring that the resources are leveraged as best they can be. Mm -hmm. Hopeless question, but uh, <laughs> I, I suppose you could pick a constitutional case mm -hmm. where, where the uh, the judge makes a ruling that affects thousands or tens of thousands or millions of people. Um, which an example might be the Askov case, which put a, a strict limit on how long someone can languish in prison before being tried, having a right to a speedy trial. Mm -hmm. That's a great question. So, at least from a professional standpoint. Every year I have the privilege of telling the story about Toronto, the narrative of vital signs. And when you go around the community, you can see in people's eyes when you unlock that, boy, do I love the city. So I think professionally speaking, really creating a positive narrative about the city and providing an opportunity for people to connect with the city mm -hmm. and improve it. Because people in the city, uh, they feel that there's a lot of change needed, but fundamentally there's something special going on here. And when you can unlock that in people, I think there's a great amount of satisfaction you get from that. Okay, one last question, and it only requires a one-word answer. I'm going to start here because you have to answer first every time, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> now you can think for a minute. Right. <laughs> we'll start with Rahul. Um, you are using your influence to improve this city. City, you can always get better. So in your opinion, Toronto can be the best. I like that. Toronto can be the place that takes care of its poor, its uh, uh, the badly treated, the, the people who are beaten, who are left, left with, with no facilities. We could do all these things much, much better than we do. A major innovating center for the world. Mm -hmm. I think Toronto can live its diversity even better than it does now. They're great hopes, and I think that you all are absolutely correct. Uh, the Toronto Life issue is called Power, a ranking of the 50 most influential people in the city. Four of them join us today, including Cameron Bailey, Artistic Director of the Toronto International Film Festival, Mary Jo Haddad, President and CEO of the Hospital for Sick Children, Rahul Bardwaj, CEO of Toronto Community Foundation, and lawyer Clayton Ruby. It's been my pleasure. Thanks, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back. You're watching The Morning Show. See you in a minute.